So we're out in front of the shop today, the print shop. This is the print shop. And this is Doreen's latest display window for summer. That's cool. Beach and mermaid scene, that sort of thing. Lots of trucks. And this one's kind of wacky. Who's that look like? So I had this guy email me and ask if we were still in business because I haven't posted on Facebook since, what was it, February? And I'm thinking, well, I don't post all the time on Facebook. So as you know, when it's hot in the summertime, it's a great time to work on the layout. And I don't know that I've showed this yet. This track is actually in place on these two modules. It's actually glued down. It's ready to be wired. And I chose this module or these two modules together to form one scene that I think is going to be a really nice industrial switching area. But I have to put switch machines in. Those two are stuck together now, and they're adjoined to this one. And I think I might have some kind of nice sweeping curve here. And those are just sitting over there. But I just wanted to show you what I was doing. It is a mess under here. But this was wired this way because it was a traveling display layout and everything kind of had to be bulletproof connections that sort of thing or it's not pretty it was definitely functional and it worked but i'm going to start cutting some of this out of here some of it is track wire and others are dc wire for lighting but to be honest with you just looking at it i don't remember what's what doesn't really matter now I know this is a bus wire because that's about 14 gauge, something like that. And you see the feeders come off of it there. And I think this stuff here might be switch machine wires. But at the time I was wiring up one at a time. And literally it really didn't matter. It wasn't that complicated. Now I had a lot of this pulled. I was yanking on it and that sort of thing. When I first brought it home and took it apart, so it's a lot messier than it would have been. These are my wire looms. See, they are functional. I know it looks silly, but it, it really worked. Especially when this thing was in the trailer. That's most of the track and switch machine wiring. And this, I just yanked out of that spot up there. And it was an emergency shutoff button that was kind of hidden. Or if something went wrong, if a locomotive went off the track at a train show, I could flip that switch and just shut everything down. This was a power routing wire for AC. And I did have a, here it is, a box where I could plug everything into. Even vacuums, things like that. But we're going to get all this out of here. So this is the DCC bus connector for the throttle, which goes on the outside there. We're gonna leave that in there for now. But everything is out of here. At least I know I can wire it up appropriately. And here's where that emergency stop switch was. It was right here. That'll get covered up. This is all gonna get covered with a fascia anyway. 
And for those of you that are just joining us that are wondering what this is from, it's actually part of the original Spruce Coal and Timber traveling display layout. There's videos here on the channel that outline this layout. It's a lot of stuff that we did with this layout as far as videos go. But if you want to go back and look at some of those videos, you're more than welcome. Or just type in Google Spruce Coal and Timber Layout and you can see it. And we used to take this to train shows in our trailer. And I actually have the trailer out here. This is out in the back of the shop here. This is the original trailer that we bought back in 2013 to haul the display layouts to train shows. We use it for a lot of things. Right now we have a refrigerator in here that's going to one of our rentals. And the reason it's opened up here this afternoon is we had spilled some fuel oil in here, diesel fuel, and it really stunk. And we have to carry stuff in it that are household items and Doreen didn't want it to stink. So she found this idea where you sprinkle kitty litter and it's supposed to absorb some of the smell and you know the, the liquid and all that stuff and then she ended up using some urethane over top of it but it doesn't smell bad now but this is what we took the stuff to the train show and we use it to haul four-wheelers and things like that it's a nice day out here it's a little hot I'm getting ready to put a winch on that four-wheeler and I wanted to use this as the garage I put it in there but I think it's too hot out Other than lay the track, I haven't wired it and I haven't smoothed it out, filed the joints down, anything like that. So I just have this thing sitting in here because it looks nice. Of course, we're not going to have a fall backdrop, but it looks nice. Be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and share the hobby. This is Joey Ricard with TrackSideScenery.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.